hey guys this is the fourth part of video tutorial of the windows services in this uh, tutorial we are going to cover the service install and service delete function and this two function comes under the service configuration program so the service install function if you see here the basically it will install our service and basically it will take the executor executing file handle of the calling process then it calls service control manager and service controller manager will create on demand service if you see the programming steps uh, for service installation function so first i'll use that api get module file name api then i open the service control manager with the help of open sc manager api then uh, we have to create the on demand service so we have to use create service api and lastly we have to use here close service handle so just uh, uh, close service handle api and uh, then we'll see later service delete function so if you see first i'll use the get module file name function it retrieve the fully qualified path for the file that contain the specified module this module must have been loaded by current process so it takes three argument first one is the handle we have to pass here sorry uh, no this one is the optional the return type of that function is the d word type and uh, basically it tells about the a handle to the loaded module with whose path is being requested so if i'll put here null then get module file name retrieve the path of the executable file of the current process so i'll use here null if you see the file name so a pointer to the buffer that receive the fully qualified path of the module fully qualified means exact uh, location where your executable file is there so in this section uh, in this argument i'll put it here uh, path and then size size basically in the tcat type if you see the return value so the return value is like divert type so basically um, if the function fails the return value is zero to get extended error information with the help of get last error function otherwise succeed the return value is the length of the string that is occupied to the buffer these things so first we'll see so this one is the uh, local variable i have already declared here sc handle for the serv uh, open service control manager and this uh, sc handle means service control handler this one is for the create service and dword i am using the get module file name basically the return type of dword and path here i am using sz path this one is the name and if you see max path i have already this is already defined in windows dot header file so directly i am using here so we have to see here so get module file name and we have to use get module file name and we are not passing here we'll pass here null then uh, file name so file name would be sz path and then size is max path so max path i'm using here now check the condition if this fails then return installation failed now the step 2 is we have to open the service control manager so service control manager if you see uh just skip this manager a so establish a connection to the service control manager on the specified computer and open the specified service control manager database so return type is sc handle this take the three argument first one is the machine name database name and desired access so if the if see the name of the target computer directly you can write here otherwise i'll use this one if the pointer is null or point to an empty string the function connect to the service control manager on the local computer so that's why i am using this one null now database name so database name uh the name of the service control manager database so this program should be set to the service active database if it is null the service activate database 
is opened by default so i'll put it here null then desired access if you see so desired access uh, we'll see so if the function fails the, the return value null if fails otherwise it take the newly specified service control handler handle from the database if you see this um, i have already told you that we have to see the desired access so if you see this one is the access right for the service control manager so i'll use that uh, sc manager all access include standard rights required in the additional to all access right in this table so we have to see here so here i'm directly taking this handle now open sc manager see the three variation if you see here manager m manager w but i'm here here is a normal now the machine name machine name should be null null local machine here i'm writing then uh, database name so database name here i'm putting null so take by default data base that is uh, this one so if you see service active database now third is the access right so access right i am using here sc manager all access that's it access right now check the condition if this fails then uh, it returns null then step 3 is we have to create our service this one is the main things so if you see here the create service api sc handle it return types and it takes so many arguments so we have to consider till here and rest of the things would be null so first we have to pass the service control manager handle then service name and uh, display name we have to choose so i'll choose default and access right for the service create service your service type because service type is uh, win32 own system we have already uh, specified and the startup type and error control and binary path name so if you see handle we have to pass here open service control manager what whatever we are getting then we have to specify the service name and display name same but uh, length should be max to max 256 character desired access if you see so i use here uh, service all access uh, service all then uh, this one is a win32 one process then uh, win32 one process and then a startup type if you see here service type so you have to check here this tab this one is a access right for the service so i'll use your service all access now then uh, display name completed service type we have covered then a startup type i'll use here on demand service demand start service started by the service control manager when a process call the start service function now the control code so the here we if anything goes wrong then here these are the severity level of that services so i'll use here the service error normal and then binary path directly sj path i'll use here and for this uh, five argument loader load order group 
tag id dependency and service start name i'll put it here and password null so move to the coding part so this one is the create service api create service and then what we have to pass our first is the handle for the service control manager so open sc manager then service name so service name directly i am using here the service name display name same i am using here same thing i want to display so uh, access so access you have to write here service all access service all access then uh, service type so we have to specify your service type is service win 32 on process service win 32 on process then start type so start type i'll reuse your service demand start then we have to use the error code so error error control normal i'll keep here service error normal error normal and then after that the binary path so binary path we have to specify here sz path whatever we have declared in get module file name and then load order group i'll keep it here null then tag id tag id should be null dependency null service start name null sorry null and last one is the password password also null so null so now if the function fails then return the error code means return type is null and we can print the error code with the help of get last error function then immediately we have to call the close service handle basically which is very similar to the close handle apis it will take the handle because if this if the create service function failed so we have to close the service control manager and then we have to close service handle for the create service and open service control manager so these things we have completed now if you see the delete function what will happen so it delete the service from the install service database and open the service control manager first api it will use then we have to use the open service api delete service api and closing the handle we have to use here close service handle api so if you see here the open service take the handle then your service name and desired access this one is open service not is open sc manager so don't confuse so here the in service delete function i have already declared this three variable and now step one is open the service control manager so same things whatever i have explained earlier then uh, here we have to start from the open so i'll use here open service open service now first one is the we have to pass the handle handle for what open service control manager so open service control manager i am passing here then service name is 
simply we have to write here service name we have already defined that macro and then desired access so desired access for the service same thing service all these things you have to copy from service all access so I am pasting it here that's it okay so now if this fails then uh, we have to don't need to close that handle come to the delete service so for delete service we have to use that api delete service it take the handle for the h service so here what i'll use here open service here i'll use so delete service we have to write control v and then delete service i'm using here and pass the H open service open service handle that's it and now we are closing the handle for the open service and open service control manager now we have successfully installed complete the installation part also so now in this fourth part of the video tutorial we have covered the service install and service delete the definition of below function i'll cover in next video which one is the void service start and service stop and query service status api we have to see but till then thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe